What's going on, guys, and welcome to Wildlands, which just released free to play yesterday. It is kind of a bit of everything. It's almost like there's a lot of different things that can be created by individuals. You can download those things and play them. There's race tracks, as you see here. There's Monster Horde, there's pizza delivery mode, and uh, yeah. But they also have an exploration mode that is very, very survival esque, and that's what we're going to be checking out today. We did actually play this a very long time ago, as you can see, 2017, uh, pretty much two years ago exactly. But we're gonna start new, and when we did play, it was not the uh, the greatest of games. It had a lot of bugs and stuff, but I'm hoping that uh, some of this stuff uh, is fixed from the last time we played, but let's jump on in. All right, so here we are, we're on an island, and we have nothing. We're starting completely from scratch. There's a bunch of things we can pick up. Ooh, we got some hay. Hey now, we got some hay. And if I look around right there, is that a boar right there? A couple of boars going down. Go ahead and pick up a bunch of this stuff. Shift to uh, do a nice little dodge roll, it seems like. Oh, but we can only dodge roll so many times before our dude gets dizzy. We're just picking everything at this point. Well, rocks and sticks, if I've learned anything, is the way to go in any survival game to start out. So let's start by getting those. What's nice is this game has the two things that uh, I always talk about being uh, what you need to have a successful game nowadays. Free to play and runs on a potato. Uh, I'm running at almost 200 FPS. Obviously, this is kind of like a relatively voxel based system. So I bet the building's gonna be really cool in this. And I hope that the survival aspects get awesome. I know it's similar to Raft in that you actually have to create boats. Uh, to travel beyond to other islands to discover new things. There are like dungeons and old abandoned houses and things like that. And we're gonna get some corn for some food. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things to explore and a lot of things to do. Of course, I wanna just check this out, give my first impressions on it, let uh, you guys know that the game does exist. And uh, maybe even get my pals into this down the line. If obviously it is uh, a game that you guys wanna see, just let me know with a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. All right, go into our inventory. We have a crafting screen here, which uh, we have all recent food, tools, vehicles, weapons, clothing, building elements, furniture, energy, workstations, and miscellaneous. So let's go to weapons. Um, gonna go with a stone axe. We need rope. Okay, so how do we, how do we craft rope? Okay. There we go. We made a whole bunch. And then we go here. No recipes to display. Oh, that's because I had a search bar going. Well, let's make a stick bow. Let's make a stone axe. Let's make a stone hammer. Let's make a stone mace. And then we have also wooden spikes, which I assume is to like defend your home once you have one. I'm going to put this on two. Put this on three. Put this on four. And put this on five. So with said stone axe, I think we can go up to a tree and gather some wood. Hello, Mr. Tree. Whack, 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 whack. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, timber! I like the animation. I like how it's actually like slow like a tree would be. What happens when it hits the ground? Okay, now it's just a tree on the ground. Do I have to... No, I got to cut it into even more pieces. It's giving me wood pieces as I break it. Whoa! Okay. Yoink, 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 yoink. Yoink, 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 yoink. We're gonna get all this resin, all this bark, etc. There we go. Also picked up some feathers, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft some arrows too. Oh, we need uh resin. What is this? It's like chromium ingots. Whoa. Regular arrows, we need piece of metal. Where do we find a piece of metal? Do we just need to whack a rock, I guess? Maybe? How are you, Mr. Rock? How are you today? Are you going to give me a piece of metal out of you is the question? Okay, it doesn't look like we can break that rock quite yet. I hit that a whole bunch. Ooh, is it a pineapple? Pineapple pen? There we go. Do we have like a a space to go down? Is there like a like an underground area? I know there was caves before. Maybe we're just not on this island. So... Let me just double check that we have found everything on the island. I don't know if there's going to be any abandoned structures or anything. What's up, rabbit? Yoink. Give me that. Give me that. Kill. See ya. All right, yeah, this island seems kind of quiet. So we'd have to head off and find a new island. How do we craft a, a full-blown, like, vehicle is the question. Ships. No recipes to display. Have we not learned them yet? Cars? Rafts? Okay, a wooden raft. Well, bada boom, we have a raft. Um, control, and then we just go. Do we want to go yet? Screw it, let's get out of here. 
There's there's an island over there. Oh, it looks like that's snowy though. I don't think we should go to a snowy island. We should probably uh not go somewhere like that because we are not dressed for the occasion. That's for darn sure. But it looks like there actually is some snow on this island we're heading towards because there's an elevation to it. Okay. Oh, now I'm actually kind of remembering back when this was like the super early alpha. Uh, why you couldn't really play the game is because uh, some islands wouldn't generate and you would just sail for like hours and you would never find an island. That definitely seems to have fixed. Whoa, I fell off. We're fine. I don't know if there's like sharks or whales or... If I remember correctly, there is ways to get like... I don't know if it's scuba gear or some way to go underwater because there is a bottom of the ocean and I believe there are things down there. So, that's definitely something we got to keep our eye out for. I'm just going to double check my crafting and there do... Let's go all and then we can see what we can grab. A bow drill, which I'm assuming is to light a fire. And that's all we can craft, really. Wooden pieces. Oh, we have a bed. I'm assuming in case we die. Unlit campfire. So, we should make a bow drill and we should make an unlit campfire. And then when we get to this island, we'll be able to establish said campfire and hopefully survive and uh, I set it so you don't have all blueprints unlocked right away so I'm assuming we're gonna have to look around and find the blueprints in order to craft the more advanced ships and stuff so uh, hopefully we'll be able to find some of those things it's gonna take me a bit though to get here because I am on just a wee little raft and I am one wee boy this island looks huge compared to the other one look at that dinky little boy and look at this big boy holy crap I understand why there's uh, cars in this game now, because to navigate this island, you might need a vehicle to get around a bit quicker. I don't even think there's a way to sprint. It seemed like there was only a way to roll. Maybe I have to check into the controls or something. Thankfully, nothing's attacked me yet. Maybe they're just giving me a bit of a grace period, or there's nothing in the water. I don't know. Maybe as we get out of the more starting zone, it just gets more difficult. Maybe there's krakens and, and, uh, and sharks that'll eat my toes. I'm also a little scared because there could be wolves or bears or lions or man bear pigs. There could be pretty much anything here. So we got to be careful. Trees are starting to render in now. So we're about to land ho here in just a moment. Whoa, look, a lighthouse. Ooh, so we're definitely going to visit that first. See what's up going on in there. I wonder how many buildings are going to be on this island. That's a really cool lighthouse. Like I said, but the Voxel building, they do have, like, points of interest, POIs, that are relatively interesting, so. As we go out on the island and have cooler ships, we can find better and cooler things and craft cooler and bigger things. Cool, big, big, cool. Here we go. We're on the island. I wonder what type of island this is going to be, though. We got some berries here. Did that say fetus? No, boltus. <laughs> That's a fetus mushroom for you. Hello, beds. Glad to hear you tweeting around. Is that a bear? Yep, this is a bear island. Okay, um, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, go down to the coast here, where my raft is, right? And let's go ahead and, what was it for a bed? We're gonna go ahead and craft a wicker bed. Boop. And then we can lie on this bed. Here we go. Good night. And we can sleep. I'm assuming that hopefully is a spawn point because we're probably going to get killed by a bear. We're going to grab the bow drill and we have, uh, what is it, the unlit campfire somewhere. There we go, unlit campfire. Seven. We're going to light the campfire. Interact with said campfire. Ooh, we can make roasted vegetables, baked potatoes, vegetable soup. We're going to start with vegetable soup. Uh, roasted rabbit leg. We can make a bunch of popcorn because we obviously have corn. I'm going to do some mushrooms. Do some roasted vegetables. There we go. And uh, those are going to take some time. But once they're done, we're going to be able to feast. I'm also crafting... I'm hoping for a weapon of some sort. A wooden club. It's going to be much better than nothing, I would say. And then we have log spikes if we need to, like, defend our base. I don't think I can kill a bear with a wooden club, unfortunately. But we'll just try to avoid all contact with the bears on our way to the lighthouse. Whoa, it's like a white wood, uh, like a, yeah, like a, like a birch tree forest. There's a goat there. There's a bear to the left, there's a bear to the right. Wow, this is some real thick woods. Thick with two C's. Okay, just keep moving, keep moving. We got a little flower field right here. This is a huge island, man. 
this game's gonna be awesome. I'm telling you, the more and the deeper we get into this, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this game because I think I'm gonna enjoy playing this game. And is it starting to rain? Starting to snow a little bit? I wonder if we cross over into the snowy part of the world. Will it snow over there? Is that a unicorn? No, it's just a white horse, but close enough. All right, let's check out this lighthouse. There's blueprints and maybe items and goodies inside, so I don't know if there's going to be... Oh, oh, whoa, that's an enemy. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. Oh, oh, God. He took three of my hearts. Can we can we lead him to a bear? Is he, he's going to run back. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we're not ready for the lighthouse yet, then. Today I learned. Today I learned. Definitely not ready for the lighthouse. I might build here, though. Because there's no bears here. Um, ooh, we can actually make some arrows now. I found some flint. I'm not sure where I found flint. Um, we're going to craft... Let's craft some spikes, right? Maybe we can lead him into the spikes and get him to die? I know it's a risky maneuver here. Why can't I play spikes? It's it, He's waving his head no. As if I can't. Do we need to, like, claim an area or something? I'm not entirely sure. Wooden crossbow, any knife. Well, we have arrows now. So let's see if we can just cheese him. Because we have a bow. Oh, I used the bow to make a bow drill. I didn't realize that was going to be used. But I guess it makes sense now that I think about it. All right, so we must have to just chop down another tree, I suppose. Actually, let's explore a little bit more first. I want to see what's going on in this island. Maybe there's a less hostile building we can get into. Also, I want to find more flint and make more arrows. And we got to heal up a bit anyway before we head back to that lighthouse. You're, you're a nice boy, right? You're not going to attack me? Good, good. Let's try to keep an arrow for iron as well. Look how big this island is. How many of them are like like it's procedurally generated so there's gonna be so many islands this is crazy this is crazy huge all right we have approached the other side of the island now is there like a pickaxe or something that i need pick there we go a stone pick we need rope all right well let's make a whole bunch of rope again i'm gonna craft all of it i'm, I'm glad that it's an insta craft instead of having to wait for it and then we get to go to here make a stone pick and then hopefully we can get like flint and iron off of this so we can make more arrows and then I need to also just make another bow oh okay can you just hold left click and it actually mines it here we go just regular rocks I really need flint where where did I oh this, is this flint right here that is flint oh and we can actually like mine the ground to get dirt and we can dig down so we could dig into a mountain and live like in the mountain if we wanted to. I am down for that. That's super cool. I didn't know we could actually alter the terrain. We can. This might be one of the one of the better free survival games I've ever played. And I've only played for 18 minutes so far. We'll see how it kind of goes. I don't know, like, longevity-wise, how long the game lasts. But, I mean, just judging on the items that I don't have and I know that I can craft... I haven't even scratched the surface. All right, let's look into armor a little bit. Because um, I want to protect myself, right? So light armor, full set protection four. Let's do that. Um, torso, bark armor. So I'm going to chop down some trees and we'll get bark armor going. Because that seems like the, the beginner armor. So let's chop down a bunch of trees... Whoa, there's heavy attacks? Is that just with the hammer or can I... Oh, you could do that with any... Any tool. It also breaks the ground. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect there to be heavy attacks. Just holding left click leads to a heavy attack. I also wonder if there's going to be any uh, big meanies that come out at night. Like like dungeon enemies, like skeletons or, or something like that. I'm not sure. So we got to be careful because there are like log spikes and stuff for you to defend against so what is the drop key hmm seems like you guys they need to add a more specific drop key but maybe they will down the line the sun is setting on our first day in wylands 
uh, create a bunch of armor, and we're gonna go attack the lighthouse boy, and, uh, see what we can accomplish there. I wanna try to get all my armor done at least today, and then maybe we'll go attack the lighthouse in the next episode. It's getting real dark, holy crap. Like, really dark. Dangerously dark, some would say. Uh, where's the armor that I just crafted? Okay, so we equip that. Look at me! Aha! I'm hurt? Well, no crap I'm hurt. I got attacked. Torso, bark armor, right there. And then we'll go ahead and put that on. But a bing Wow. We are becoming the tree. Straight up. Okay, nighttime's not too bad. Definitely have had darker survival games in the past. That's for darn sure. All right, we have our full armor crafted now. Equip. And where is this last piece here? I just realized there's actually a vicinity thing. So if we press I here, like around all these items, we can just pick and choose instead of grabbing everything and then dropping it. That's really nice. Cause I was just looking for bark and resin and it was kind of getting annoying that I had to pick up everything and then I'd run out of inventory room. Now that I'm all organized, I have my full armor. Let's go ahead and make another campfire here just so we can light up the area. And then we can use the bow drill to light this. There we go. So now it's not as dark. Um, can we craft another bed, perchance? Yes. We put down our little bed next to our campfire. We can lie on this, and then we can sleep on this. And it we get to choose when we get to sleep till. That's super nice. Click, 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 click. And then we sleep till morning. Which it is raining. Wow, this is a crazy rainstorm. And our campfire went out in, in favor of that, obviously. And, uh, let's quickly eat some food here. Eat some pineapple. That's a big pineapple, but I think it'll it'll do the job for right now. Nom, nom, nom. And it should tell me that I'm no longer hungry. There it is. I'm not hungry anymore. And we also have this protective barrier. When fix this creates a safe zone for me to build and create. I can read about... I guess so. We read more when we get there. All right, so we have this bow and arrow that we need to craft. Craft. Bada bing, bada boom. Another stick, and we can make crossbow bolts, but we don't want to do that yet. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode one of Wyland. I think there's definitely going to be a uh, another episode. Look at this. It's combat mode. That's cool. Definitely going to be another episode tomorrow, so if you did enjoy, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here, and uh, maybe we'll get the pals into this, or we could keep it as a solo series. It's kind of nice to have a solo series going every once in a while just to just sit down and relax and, and talk to you guys and hang out with you guys directly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.